Okay, so hello, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, Ohio Gazimos, all that good stuff. We are walking uphill to Kyo Mizudera in Kyoto. We are here. Evie is behind me. Rihanna is in front. And we're walking up a hill. I know I don't like hills, but we're gonna be in Kyoto for two days. So we've got a number of things that we are going to see. And after Kyoto, Osaka, and now Evie is in front of me <laughs> because I guess I'm walking too slow. So now that the country is open, my best advice is to get wherever you want to go very, very early. That's why we look so tired because we got there maybe like around 6 a.m. It was very early, but it was very empty as you can see. We were able to take photos and get video and it was great. Okay, so we're at Kiyomizudera and here it is behind me and there's Evie and Brianna and it's beautiful. The leaves are starting to turn colors and we got here really early. It's only like 830. So there's barely any people. I highly recommend getting here as early as possible. It's also a work day for most Japanese people, so they're all at work. Um, but it's nice and cool out here. I don't know how it feels any other time of the year, but September seems like a pretty decent time to come because the leaves are turning and like autumn in Kyoto just sounds poetic, so. Yeah, we're gonna continue on our voyage. There's a couple foreigners here, which that's always comforting, cause yeah, we just did a photo op. Brianna's sitting here looking at me like, what is this girl talking about? <laughs> Do you wanna say hi to my channel? What's up? This is Brianna. <laughs> She's the new ALT, and I don't think we've properly introduced you guys, but yeah, that's Brianna. She's from Ohio, so America stand up, what, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's really pretty here. There are monks here. I can't get videos of them because it's like impolite, but there are monks here. That's so cool. And like the top of this thing is like gold up here at the top. And then you can see like the rafters, which is holding everything up like right there. And look at that city view. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Other than the fact that there's way too many stairs for this place to be normal and way too many hills for this place to be normal, it's beautiful. Oh, a rainbow. Catch it. Look at that. It's beautiful. Do you see the rainbow? It's gorgeous. Obviously, Kiyomizudera is a temple, so there will be monks here. You cannot videotape them. But you can get in on the shrine activities like this. doing that Beyonce thing. <laughs> so we were able to find this iconic Starbucks in Kyoto, which is so nice because it's made to look like Edo period Starbucks. It was very good. In the fall, Starbucks in Japan has this apple pie that tastes like America. I actually cried when I ate it. It was wonderful. Starbucks we just did a little bit more sightseeing 
the streets as you can see are so empty this is also like what i said a benefit of coming super early in the morning very empty streets there was nobody there and then we were off to arashiyama they have these really cute trains that take you there and they're very unique because they're a burgundy color on the outside and then they have velvet green seats on the inside it was very cute it was definitely a look kyoto was a win for these beautiful trains they're gorgeous So once we got to Arashiyama, we were able to see all the beautiful bamboo forest. However, because we did not get here early enough, there were tons of people. It was almost impossible to take a photo or get video without there being somebody in the shot. So if I could do it over again, I'd do this part again really early in the morning though. Okay. So we are at Arashiyama with these beautiful bamboo trees, grass, what? Nothing. Evie's always talking mess, okay, but we're looking at them and it's almost impossible to get a picture without there being other people. So I cannot imagine what this place looks like when there's lots of people here. Um, but this place is gorgeous and it is bigger than people make it seem on YouTube. It's massive. I think it was like, what that thing said, eight kilometers? Eight, eight minute walk, which is far. And there's a lot of students here on their like year trip, this trip they go on before they all graduate, mostly third years. So it's really pretty, but Okay, I'm gonna walk and focus so I don't drop the camera. The station that is connected to Arashiyama for this season had anime attached to it. So it was a Demon Slayer theme. And then the next stop that I went to was this coffee shop this coffee shop i got recommended from sunday if you watch her videos i love her this coffee was worth every penny it's amazing after coffee we were able to see the kimono forest which is right next to the arashiyama station and boy when i tell you it was just beautiful there's so many different patterns of kimono it was gorgeous Another thing that's really cool about this station is the trains are purple. In fact, some of the trains actually have Demon Slayer characters on them. So that was really cool to see. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch any on camera because they were moving a little bit too fast for me. But the purple of these trains was just a vibe that is just adorable. As you can tell, we had a really long day, so we decided to hit up the Zen Garden just for a little bit of peace and tranquility. Um, and after this, after the peace, we can move on to our hotel.
so real quick our hotel is a pocket hotel this place is very cheap and very cute and i highly recommend staying here i'll put the description i'll put the information in the description So once again, we've got an early start to an early morning and we are at Fushiminari. This place is famously known for its 10,000 Tori gates. What it is least famously known for is the fact that it's a mountain. They don't tell you that when you're looking up this place. This is a mountain. Anyway, I was definitely living my full on memoirs of a geisha life walking through these beautiful tori gates um all the tori gates here have actually been donated from either people or companies or prefectures and i think that's really cool because that's why there's so many of them i have no idea how much it cost but it's just beautiful to see so just enjoy this and i highly recommend coming early early in the morning because there's nobody here Shiminari and no one tells you that there's so many stairs it's beautiful though and look I'm surrounded by orange it's beautiful but there are a lot of stairs a lot of cats and monkeys and boars are possible to see so it's a little scary but we're here really really early so there's like barely any people here. Oh, look at the cat. Oh, so cute. Why is it I know? That was cool. There's cats everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna focus on taking the stairs. Okay, so we made it to this little piece. I, you can't see it, it's too far, but these two women are claiming that there's more. There's more climbing. Let me tell y'all, do not come to this area if you are out of shape, like myself, okay? We've only been walking for like 30 minutes and I am knackered, like wow. So, Be aware that it's a challenge, as Evie says. It is a challenge that I personally will not do again. So, yeah, they're looking at the city map right now, but um, it's so beautiful. And there's Tory gates to my left. And a little like, they have like these platform areas with like shops and stuff here. Like every couple miles up and that's really cool because I think there's shops like for drinks and water. I don't think there's toilets. I haven't seen a toilet up here. We've apparently passed the toilets. Oh, so we're not going up to the top because I've heard that the top is not as spectacular as like the halfway point. Apparently this is not the halfway point. Um, Brianna wants to go to the top, but Autumn will not be going to the top. Um, do also recommend bug spray because there's a lot of bugs out here, but I think because it's super early, they're just not out yet to eat people. So let me take a water break and stop talking to you guys and head up the rest of these stairs. 
and then we'll see how I feel once we get to the bottom if I will ever do this again. The next stop on our trip is King Kakuji. It was so crowded here, but this is gold and it's beautiful. So just take a look at how beautiful that is. And finally, we are hitting up the Imperial Palace so that we can end our day with a little bit of history. Um, I just want to say before I sign off here, Kyoto is the place to go for the history and the, the vibes. Perfect. Okay, so I'm back. Hello. We are at the Kyoto Imperial Palace Gardens area. We're about to go to the palace itself. This place is massive. It's really too big for like one family. It's really insane. But um, yeah, if you didn't know, Kyoto was the capital before Tokyo was. Random bits of information. But yeah, I think that we are just tired. I think all the energy is gone. There's nothing left. But for two days of Kyoto, we did very well. Very, very well. And I'll show you guys a little bit of this and then that's it for Kyoto, honestly. There's nothing else for me to show y'all. Everything else you wanna see, you gotta come see it yourself. Um, I recommend Kyoto in the fall. What do you guys say? Oh, definitely. Oh, wait, that was me. Yeah. It's beautiful. Weather's chilly. Chilly. <laughs> I think. I know. Let's go higher. Okay, yes. So, we recommend it for the fall. I'm going to show you guys the rest of this, and then I'm signing off because I need a nap. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am out of energy. Um, you know what? You don't gotta do what you don't wanna do. So if you don't wanna subscribe, that's fine. Someone else will. <laughs> okay, signing off.